Good day, welcome to King William Was Everything. Today I want to take a look at the Ditec DTX MRJ. And it's a PoE surge suppressor uh, for Ethernet. So let's tell you, take a look at the specs and then we'll kind of go over what this guy does and what we're going to be using it for and get some good close looks. Anyway, this is a uh, protects your power, video, data, and fixture, pan, tilt, zoom, camera. So this was kind of designed for uh, a surge suppressor for uh, cameras over Ethernet using PoE. And that's kind of what we're going to be using for. We're going to use them for some other things like uh, wireless access points, but kind of get the idea. It's RJ45 and does a, a PoE plus, so it does a 30 watts, not just a 15.4 watts. So that's kind of cool. Uh, you can see some of the specs, uh, the data rates for gigabit. That's cool. Uh, max continuous current is 1.5 amps. Dissipation 3,000 watts per pair. All right. And protection modes line ground all. So it looks like this has some uh, fairly decent specs for what it's doing. And it's fifty dollars, so I think this, you know, if it's fifty dollar uh, little part uh, saves your two thousand dollar camera, that's cool. Let's take a look at how this works. Basically, what you do is uh, you jam your Ethernet cable in one hole and the other one in the other hole. So you have the blue one is uh, data coming in from a switch or from an injector going out to a camera, and the yellow one would be um, going out to the device. So that's kind of how you would hook this up. So it's pretty simple, just kind of in line. Then you plug in, uh, you wire up a ground on the ground lug. And so we'll take a little closer look at the guy. We'll just do a spin around. You can see the UL listed fancy gold sticker. And here's their generic uh, label. You can see on the top it had all different kind of uh, dots. Only the red one was covered. Uh, telling you which one it really is. And here's the outside. You can see it's RJ45 and ground lug. And the inside, just RJ45. So pretty simple. Uh, plug in, plug out. And very difficult to open with one hand. But I, I can do it. And we did it. But uh, there's a circuit board inside the little plastic housing. And you can see it's kind of fairly simple. There's not a lot of components on it. And we'll pull this out and we'll take you know a little click and see <clears throat> exactly what's on that circuit board. And maybe we can figure out how this guy works. And she's out. Uh, pretty simple. Um, you can see the, um, the components there. Uh, there's one of the RJ45 connectors. That's the in. And that's the out. And there's a little ground lug. Um, Mr. Lug. Hello, Mr. Lug. Very simple, simple little board. Uh, looks like we got some diodes and two components on the bottom. I'm not sure what those are. I'm trying to figure out what them are. But um, there's really not a lot to it. So you kind of see. There's Mr. Bottom. Uh, you can see the solder joints for the RJ45 connector and, and the round hole, which is not used for anything. And there's the top again. And I want to take a, a little bit better look at some of this. Here's here's the uh, a little closer look up at the circuit board. You can see a lot of little diodes. And those two little components on the bottom, that's what I'm trying to figure out what those guys are. That has me baffled. But you kind of get the idea. It's, it's one way. It's got diodes, so data uh, is protected just probably just one way. Um, I would like to see it you know both ways but that's fine um, there's the ground lug and here's the bottom again a little closer up you see the little round uh, uh, pad there that's not connected to anything it just goes in plastic housing so maybe that was for something else to uh, it's actually not even hooked up so maybe that was just a mounting hole and there's the diodes a little closer and the two components on the bottom that's what I'm trying to figure I looked on the data sheets I looked on the internet I cannot find this component so I'm guessing it's either a fuse I can't imagine being a switch or anything it's got, it's got two legs so uh, there's the part number. If anyone knows what this part number is, BGM 60IXF, 60IXF. Uh, let me know. Uh, I did some search and I cannot find it. But um, you kind of get the idea. And there's, that's basically it, you know. Pretty simple. Data in one hole, data out the other hole, and it's got surge depression. So uh, I'm going to put these into service, let you know how that works out. I was hoping to be more of a lightning project protector. And it may be, but uh, we'll see. Anyway, have a great day.